Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by tailback Monte Ball and quarterback Danny O'Brien. What do you have to do to get this offense back on track? Well, yeah, being a you know being a captain and a leader of this team, I just gonna make sure I bring the energy and focus. You know, starting with my position and myself, and making sure I you know spread it out you know within the offense. And I believe we did that today. I think like Monte said, it's just cleaning up your own stuff first. Certainly there's a lot to learn from my position from last week's game. I think the big thing is just looking at the mistakes that I made personally and uh, making sure you don't make them again. And then, you know, making that, you know, cause and effect kind of spread to the rest of the team that you're locked in. You're not going to make the same mistakes again. How does a coaching change potentially impact players on the offense, even if it isn't your position group? Um. Well, you know, obviously it, it can impact us in a negative way, but I believe, you know, from what the offensive linemen have been saying, they, you know, they, they're not really worried about the past anymore. They're, they're, all we're doing is looking forward to the future, looking forward to Utah State, and uh, just making sure we're approaching every day with a one and all mentality. And I believe it did today, like I said. Yeah, I think each coach brings his own different personality and different tendencies, and, you know, the guys are just looking forward right now. And I think, you know, with Coach Miller in there, they're excited to work with them. Today's practice was a lot of intensity, uh, and I think we had a lot of energy, and I think we're just looking forward and getting ready for Saturday night. Monte, this is a question for you. You were here last year. You had setbacks, adversity, back-to-back -back losses on the road. How can this team learn from those situations and apply it now? That's basically what I'm going to tell the team is, you know, we, we, you know, adversity struck last year, you know, right in our faces, two games in a row, and we rallied the troops together and made sure we stuck together as a team because all we have right now is each other, and I believe we showed that today in practice, and the chemistry right now is, is, is at its highest. Danny, you had your own personal adversity at Maryland. How can you use that to your benefit? Well, I've, like you said, I experienced a lot of adversity, and just like Monte said, the guys in this room have also last year. So I think going forward, there's no panic, but there is a sense of urgency. We got to get back to work. You know, take nothing for granted. It was obviously very disappointing and humbling to lose last week, but you know, I know these guys, and we're going to bounce back the right way and bring it next week. Final thought: How much will it help to be here on a Saturday night playing in front of? A full house. Yeah, it'll help a lot. Comfortable. That's basically the number one thing. We're gonna be comfortable uh, on our field, you know, in front of our fans, ready to just, uh, you know, show what we're capable of doing as an offense and a defense. It's gonna be a great opportunity for us. I think night game with a lot of people in front of a lot of eyes, just to show, you know, that we're not packing it in after one week. There's a lot of football left, and we're locked in. I just see it as a great opportunity for us to bounce back. Thanks, guys. Good luck against uh, Utah State. For UWBadgers.com, I'm Mike Lucas.